Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we have plenty to go over in this episode. We have a few new additions to our roster with Pandas the Mad and Uriel, uh, our Jester and our um, Flagellant uh, respectively. So we'll go over the backstories for those. We've got quite a few dives to go through and of course we are going to be trying to take on... The challenge against the um, ringmaster here, and I've I've taken a build that was suggested in the backstory, uh, sorry diary entry of a previous episode. And um, they said either Chaos or Orwell, and I thought Orwell would fit a little better. Although he is only level two, he has brick tough for the extra max HP, so you don't have to worry about that. And he is a debuff master with Daruma for the extra crit, and now the Screecher for the re uh, the stun resist removal. So these two together could actually be kind of insane um and we do have stun here we also have stun here um and honestly i think we probably ought to go with stun there as well just to make it more like usable and then we've got um de-stress here if we need the de-stress and then of course we've got uh, a wally here with just insane insane damage especially if we pop this as well um which i'm not sure if i will i think it's probably worth it even with the damage received just because we have so much hp but we'll see how that ends up going um oh slightly increases the chance of showmanship uh, and showmanship of crits oh wow that's something that i've not seen before that's a a, a a thing that you can get specifically from um the ringmaster so that's nice to have and I, I, I did not know we had that either way i've leveled everyone up i prepared everything still money is a major issue for us right now we're really having a hard time with money so we're gonna have to do some more money runs uh, we'll probably go and take out some of our new um adventurers here and try and do a build with those guys soon um but yeah i'm not i'm not exactly sure where we go from here with money because um we don't want to over level our um Poviara too quickly but at the same time, we kind of need to get her out as much as possible so that we can get as much money as we possibly can. Either way, let's uh, get our provisions ready. Uh, in fact, let's go for our backstories first and then we'll do our provisions. So let's let's go over to uh, Pandas first and we'll do that one and go over the backstory there. So this is one by uh, Dr. Sandwich Junkie. All his life, Pandas had always been different. He felt he saw the world in a way nobody else quite could. New things he shouldn't saw and heard things that weren't always there. These delusions came to a peak when the voice began to speak to him. It felt more real than others, always talking straight into his mind, shaking his very core with every thundering word. The voice commanded strange things of him, little offerings of animal bones left in strange places, difficult to pronounce lyrics and verses in his songs and poems that always made him feel strange after saying aloud, and eventually a sacrifice in the form of human life. Whatever the voice commanded, Pandas would obey. It was his rock, his guiding hand in his own mind that he, could, he couldn't he could trust if what it was saying was even real. With his dagger now stained with the blood of a man lying dead on the floor of his home, Pandas re received one final set of instructions from the friend inside his head. A hamlet tucked away in the dark woods, a few days trek from the city he called home. With a fear and determination in his heart, the performer grabbed his loot and clenched his knife in preparation for the dangerous journey ahead. Amazing stuff there, really like that. And then we got Uriel here, who is, of course, our um, flagulant. This one is by Rookerin. As designed by Bishop Darius, the Cathedral of Light sent on its finest warriors to aid chapel, uh, the chapel's plight, Uriel. The paper is set on the desk, just having been read by the father. Staring at the man before him, a turned man, scarred, burned, and such ribbon, uh, and such ribbons his body. Horrible torture devices worn almost like jewellery to another, and a hooded a hood obscuring his face. Um, prostrated before the uh, shri the shrine of light, Uriel. The man rises, twitching as he speaks, but never losing the unnervingly wide smile. Yes, holy father. I am here to aid you in ridding this place of its filth. Um, spittle fly with the word and the father si um, sighed. Look, 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 Uriel, you, you're a blind. The priest recoiled in disgust seeing his eyes, bl um, blind due to injury. You see them as people, they are sinners, and I am the darkness, darkness reckoning. I only live within the dark, the, light, uh, the light's holy presence only seen in the sweet prayers of suffering. 
a flicker of its beauty. You will not harm my flock, the priest shouts. Hold, father, the sinners will be judged. Not now at least, but the first evil must be expunged from this pit. I am here on the bishop's authority, not yours. Or so, um, or is it you who enjoy this? Is it you that enjoys this festering blight? The cleric clenches his fists, white knuckled. Very well. This is what you, um, this is the way to your quarters. He says through gritted teeth. Thank you, Father. Smile, never leaving. Know this place will be purged of all sin. So this person, this Euro here, is really really into cleansing so we're gonna we're gonna have to see how that pans out but anyways let's uh let's get ready to jump in here i'm i am kind of scared i honestly don't really know what to expect with this fight i i know i know a little bit about it i think from what i've seen you have to fight the puppets and the ringmaster at the same time and there's like a second stage at some point but i i'm not entirely sure but we're, we're just gonna have to see how this goes and hope for the best. Basically, my current idea is I pop this to get really high crit chance, I pop this to get even higher crit chance, and I pop this to get even higher crit chance. And I essentially just absolutely demolish the boss with really, really strong crits. That's kind of my game plan right now. We'll see how it ends up panning out. Um, but let's, let's do our provisions now. Uh, I don't know exactly what we need here. In terms of provisions, because I, th I think it's just a boss battle and nothing else, but I can't be sure. I think what I will do is I'll take four of these just in case for a bit of extra healing. Um, I don't know if I need food, but I'll bring like ten. Um, I'll bring two of all of these. And I think that's everything. So let's... Um, we could also bring... Can we brought uh, to the hamlet... We could always bring these two as well. Let's let's bring these two as well, just in case. And then let's um, embark and see what's going on here. Before we get into this, we might as well go through a diary entry as well. As I said, we've got plenty this week. Blank Gaming, one for Sophia the Musketeer here. Only in the cursed estate will you find yourself face to face with a pumpkin, pumpkin that grew arms and legs. How did that even happen? Did someone... Uh, uh, I'd rather not think about it honestly. But now on a more serious note, I went out again after quite a long break, and I slayed. Whatever that thing was. I tried to enter the manor where my wife was last seen. I didn't get far in before realising that's not the place I wish to be alone, or as unequipped as I turned out to be. I guess I'll just have to wait for the others to realise there are things to purge there too before I can continue my investigation. Really nice. I'll jump into another one as well, actually, because we've got a few here. This is one for our Wally who are bringing out with us today from Dr. Sandwich Junkie. I saw something today that I hadn't seen since I left my village. A common enemy I would slay to protect my people is a golem, made with whatever, whatever objects a rival community would have laying around, and brought to life by prayer and sacrifice to whatever gods they worship, and imparted with some life and power. This one had a pumpkin for a head and came at us with farming equipment. I bet it was made to protect their fields from something but the blood and rotting bodies around tells me it either didn't do a very good job or it became the threat itself. More curiously, more curiously, it seemed very interested in our resident sharpshooter. Sophie said uh, she said her name was. The monster more or less seemed to only care about her. The rest of us were just an annoyance. Did the soul residing in there know her somehow? If it did, it uh, was certainly not a friendly relationship. A shame too. It certainly used an ally like that. Great stuff. Love to see diary entries like that. Let's uh, get into this then and see what we're up for here. So I was right. We do have uh, these fellas here. Um, human dartboard. That's a lot of bleed. Okay, that's a lot of bleed. So let's have a look here. We get a debuff with some horror. Less healing received. And then you can guard there. Okay. Stage fright. You've not got all the health. From what I can see. So we definitely want to do this first because we're getting bleeds on us. We want to have our resist. Holy hell. Okay. These are uh, crazy bleeds. <laughs> what the hell? Um, do a party heal here to get everyone back up. Um, we get that going. This first round's basically just going to be set up. Hopefully we don't get stunned too much here. Ooh. Stun and a move is not good for us at all. Not only do we miss our setup turn, but we get pushed into a position where we're going to have to move around a lot. That's not great. We did resist that. That's nice. Um, I'm going to have to move back here. This is this is a real pain. This is actually a real pain. 
I'm guessing that's going to happen quite a lot as well. Nice resists. Nice resists. We're just going to have to spend some time rearranging here a little bit. Um, doing our best. We can clear the bleed off of people by doing this. The Wheel of Death. Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to have some real big problems this fight. And I mean real big problems. I didn't know that there'd be such a problem with moving our characters around. Oh, no. Okay, this this certainly this certainly puts a lot of stress on us. Because, um, yeah, we're just going to be having a hell of a lot of uh, movement luster. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. We've not we've not been able to do a single bit of damage thus far because we've been moved around too much. Which is not great. At least healing wise we've been keeping everyone going. You've hurt that one for a buff on yourself. And you've stunned it as well. Punch coming out. Don't stun don't you dare stun me again, thank god. I need to get some damage out. Excuse me? Okay, there you go. Let's try and kill you. Okay, of course you dodged. Wow. Um, get some damage on you. I don't know if I want to be killing these things first or her first. I'm really not sure. I would assume these things first. That would be that would be my first assumption, but I'm honestly not not really sure. Okay, we can finally start putting debuffs on. Um, we want to probably want to be debuffing pro. Um, yeah, we want to be debuffing, debuffing pro and stuff. Of course, you dodged. Hmm. Man, stop moving our wildlife back. Okay, this is this is real bad. Good heal across the board there, though. Like these two swapping around like this is really problematic for us. Because, like, he just can't do anything. That's going to be an absolutely gargantuan issue for us. I didn't know the this guy did this. Um, and the move resist keeps getting lowered and stuff. Oh, look, this is potentially really terrible. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. The stress isn't great. Um, we don't have great ways of getting rid of that either. Um... We can get rid of debuffs this way. Yeah, let's get rid of your bleed and potentially debuffs. Okay, you don't want that. Great. Can we clear these debuffs? No, not them ones. Okay, that's fine. That's a try. You're still doing damage to that one and curing yourself. I mean, that's it's fine, I guess. Punch is going to move us back again, isn't it? Fucking no, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, Lord, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay. So our wall is going to be kind of useless here, which is a real shame. I can't even move you back. God damn it. You're going to dodge as well. Oh, this is tragic. Okay. Um, I kind of should have known there'd be a lot of movement going on here, but I don't know. I wasn't... Clearly wasn't prepared for it. Like, I can't move you back because... And you keep dodging. They've got so much dodge. I'm going to have to lower that dodge. But you can't even do what you want because you're not in the right space either. Blood vision. God. Stage fright. Oh god, the lowered accuracy is real bad too. Um, I heal again. Nice buff for everyone there with accuracy. We basically almost killed this one with just um, Eileen here, which is kind of funny. Do moves that don't move me back, please. <laughs> like I said, at least we've almost got one of them dead. I am getting a little bit worried about our current levels of stress. Our stress is getting really out of hand. But at the same time, I can't really afford to stop attacking with Eileen because she's the only one dealing damage right now. Just going to move you back. No, okay, we resist. Resisted with that character, at least. Yes. Okay, so you can't even take damage, I see. Well, what's going on with the health bar there? So, so we have, we definitely have to kill these things first. 
But there's still a body here, though, which is surprising. But if I try and attack you, okay, you just... Oh, you've got 921 dodge. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Shouldn't have even attempted that. Wow, okay. Um, so hitting you is going to be kind of a problem. <laughs> I'm noticing. Right, we need to get rid of dodge. Hitting you is going to be an issue. In fact, hitting you is going to be virtually impossible. It's going to be literally impossible. Okay. Uh, wait, I think we fucked this. <laughs> we literally can't hit this back line at all. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> we literally cannot hit this guy. Like, at all. None, none of our heroes can hit this, this guy. So I, th I think we're basically done. I think this is... I think this is it. I think we're done. <laughs> we literally cannot hit that back line. At all. Like, I can't deal damage to this front front thing either. And I've got nothing to move you with. Like, unless unless this somehow moves to the front, I think this is it. I think we're just done here. Um, yeah, not what I would have expected. It looks like you're not going to move either. Um. Trying to sort of see if there's any way that I can do anything here. I guess if I move you back to here, do that, and I can use Flummox. Oh, you have more death blow chance as well. That's scary. I don't know when to give up here, I'll be honest. I'm not quite sure. Depends how much damage Flummox does, I guess. We're not taking a lot of damage anymore, that's for sure. It does two damage. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> not going to be enough. Oh, Lord. What do I do? Well, this was tragic. <laughs> Why can't you hit the back line, for God's sake? <laughs> you should be able to hit the back line with that stun. Also, slightly annoying that we can't bloody see the health bars correctly because they're overlaying over top of each other. Very annoying. I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. Like, this is just a... I, I should just leave, I guess. But I'm determined, even though it's not really for any good reason. Like, I'm just hoping there's some way I can get this guy to move. A crit for four there. Like, how much health does this thing actually have? We, I, I don't really know. Okay, there you go. That's 69. Oh, my God. This would take literal years for us to actually... Take this guy out. Time to perform beyond one's limits. My goodness, this is frustrating. Wounds of war can be healed, never hidden. Just gotta hope for crits, I guess. It's the only way I can hit this goddamn guy. Confusion. Stress isn't good. 
The thing is that she's the only one that could de-stress as well at the moment, so I can't even de-stress easily. Just debuffing the hell out of his damage and stuff. Oh no! You can't be doing <laughs> That's like all of my work gone. Everything I've just worked towards gone. This is just terrible. <laughs> this is just terrible. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. I don't really have the money to go again either. Like... He's just gonna keep getting healed out of it is the problem. I don't think there's any chance of him moving either at this, at this point, is there? Yeah, how can we have 301 health out of 136? What's going on there? Two damage each time as well. Come on. Not enough. Not enough. Okay, I think we have to go now, now that we've hit a, a thingy. Madness, our old friend. Um, one hero must be sacrificed. What? Why? Oh wait, oh wait, I didn't, there's an attack, okay. So you're saying there's a chance. I didn't realize we had an attack that could hit. Okay, okay, okay. There's a, there's a small chance we can do this. There's a small chance we can do this. Oh my god. I didn't realize he had an attack that could hit. Okay, okay. This is going to be bad. We're going to get a lot of stress checks here. This is going to be pretty terrible. Damn it. The walls close in. The shadows oh, nice. Hell yes, okay. We got some good going on here. Oh my goodness, this is so stressful. I, I completely forgot he had a move that could deal damage. I'm so happy now. I, I, like, I'm not saying this is a definite win, but there's an actual chance now. There's an actual chance. These two being, um, being thingy does scare me a bit, but... I think now we start start removing stress, right? So I, I guess I'll remove it from you. Oh my god. More stress across the board there. Fucking hell, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> this is so silly. I kind of love it, but I hate it at the same time. Don't hit other people, please. I mean, we're critting with every single one, so that's good. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Good. Oh my goodness, what a fight this is. What the hell? Okay, your stress is getting a bit high now as well. Your stress is getting up there. Oh my god, the stress. It all just keeps coming. I just love the fact that this is critting with every hit now, because he's on like plus 30%, uh, 20% crits. Don't heal him, that's gross. I'm not privy to, the, to all this stress. I'm not liking that. Wait, what? What did I do there? I did not mean to do whatever I just did there. Well struck. I actually hit you, which is surprising. Wait, what? Why do you have 487 health now? What? What's happened here? Apparently, heal. I, I'm. I'm very. This. This is. Is this booked? 
Okay, you hit- oh, focused. Amazing. Is this bugged? Why is her health so crazy? I think this is bugged. Like, her health shouldn't be that high, right? No, dodge. We only get one of those every so often. You can't be dodging. Apparently hitting you, like, doubles your health or something crazy. I don't really know. Two? Why two? Why did that deal two damage? Game, come on. We had a we, we had something going on here. Don't do this to me. I need some crit heals as well, please. Like real bad. What has happened to your health? Stop healing! We don't have time for this! <laughs> Stop dodging! We don't have time for this! Oh my goodness, this is upsetting. This is upsetting. Oh my god, the stress is getting out of hand. We're definitely losing someone here. I hate to say it, but we're definitely losing someone here. <laughs> this is going to be bad. <laughs> like, real bad. <laughs> we might lose everyone. Like, this is... This is terrible. <laughs> this is really terrible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like, your stress is getting way too high. And for some reason, we're doing like two damage to this guy now, which is. Have your turn again, please. Why are you only doing five damage now? You're doing so much before. Come on. Oh, he's getting too stressed. The, these guys are both getting way too stressed. This is terrible. Executed. Heart attacks are incoming. Um, 12 isn't enough. I need it to be a lot more than 12. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed that both of these have Virtues, and it's, they're kind of fucking useless. Like, normally Virtues are ace, and these two just ain't really doing much. I mean, this guy's deaf. Our walleye's dead. Like, our walleye's so dead. This is, this is tragic. This is truly tragic. He passed his turn? Are you kidding me? He passed his turn. Why? Get some crit heals, please. Even if we manage to kill this thing, even if we manage to kill this thing, we've still got to deal 486 damage to the actual boss. So much stress. That's right, some more damage. This is taking forever. What? No, you can't. You can't. You can't be doing that. You actually can't be doing that. Oh, why haven't I been using that? That's a de-stress. I'm a fool. I'm an actual fool. Why haven't I been doing that? I thought it was just a heal. I thought it was just a heal. That is my bad. I'm just hoping for stress, like... For thingy heals here, but crit heals, but they're not coming. I wish I had my stress heal on you still. I, I really do. Stop doing that. It's so bad. Why would you do that? No, you can't even go back. What would you mean? I have to pass my turn as you. You absolute bastard. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm so stressed out here. This is horrible. <laughs> this is so horrible. A 
We're only down to 31 HP. We haven't down to like 22 before. Go away. Oh, this is this is a heart attack, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. These Oh, there's a heart attack. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Have to. Cannot learn a thing you think you know. Kimber. Did we get to come back with our trinkets from Kimber? If we lost our trinkets from Kimber, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, no, we didn't. Good. Its noble end affords you broad. That was fucking tragic. I don't even know what to say. That was awful. I mean. There were, there, were, there were many mistakes on my behalf there. Many mistakes. But there were so many more in just... I was not ready for that. So not knowing that I had to be able to hit the back line, very bad. Not realising sooner that Orwell could hit the back line, very bad. <laughs> not realising that our while I could stress heal himself sooner, also very bad. There was a lot of that that was terrible. Uh, but we've come away from that with a dead hero and no money. So, congratulations to us, I guess. I don't think I'm going to do another dungeon here. Because I don't think I could take the stress. But that was... That was awful. <laughs> that was so... So bad. <laughs> I reckon... If we had a different setup, we could come into that a lot stronger. But that was that was genuinely awful. That all of that was just just the worst. Kimber, unfortunately, has perished. I thought it was gonna let me choose who I got rid of when I was gonna sacrifice our Walai, even though I love him. He was the one that was on death's door. But yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that was that was something. That was something. Oh my god. Well, I have some diary entries to go through. I'm probably going to leave some of these diary entries for next week. I know it doesn't make so much sense to do that. But honestly, it, it's just how I feel right now. Um, yeah. That was something. So I'll go through two more diaries here and I'll leave the rest for next week. Diary entry of Rose the Arbalist. At breakfast time, I was in the dining hall with everyone else, with all the other adventurers, the heroes. I, I, I was there with them. I was considered part of the group, but was I really a hero? Even people who don't go out questing super often either keep themselves busy or are loved by everyone for their deeds of their char or their character. I really wanted to get my thoughts off of that, and so I started looking around a bit. Maybe someone else would slip up and we could all have a light-hearted giggle at their simple mistake. But instead I noticed something else. The Guardian dude and Eileen weren't there. I thought back a bit. I almost always see Eileen during mealtimes, even if occasionally late, but I never once seen the Guardian dude here. Does he not eat? I don't know if she calls uh, call it inspiration or grasping at straws, but after breakfast, I headed to the library to try and read up on some eldritch beings that don't eat. Maybe that's also what um, his stare, why, is, why his stare feels so cold without even seeing his eyes. I knew the librarian there, Amy. She quite often needed help with um, returning books that her town folk couldn't be bothered to carry back. And to my surprise, she was quite excited to see me go into the library of my own volition. After I came up empty handed on my research, she tried to um, reassure me that maybe what I was looking for just wasn't in a book here. That we exchanged stories of monsters we'd seen in our time on this earth. For such a small and timid person, she has seen some stuff. I think I'll be visiting her more in the future. If not for research, just to have some fun exchanging stories. And another by Blank Gaming here. This is Memory of the 29th Week. A diary entry for Guiding Never and Eileen. Um, this is part one. The dark, mysterious Guardian of Never. Good to finally talk. So is that a stage name or a job title? It is what I am. At my very core, my purpose is to protect, to guard. But guard what? People I protect want uh, to be protected from me, not by me. Perhaps that is the price of dark, um, of the dark and mysterious vibe you have going for you. 
It's really cool, don't get me wrong, but intimidation is the tool wielded by um, wielded against your opponent, not your audience. So you guard, um, so you guard an un unwilling people. You guard an unwilling people. That is a tragedy that is uh, uncommon in this Hamlet. You say my vibe is dark, but the, uh, but that is simply the way it has to be. There isn't anything else that I can hide what I am except for what I, what I was. To protect is my purpose. That becomes near unachievable due to human nature. What I have now works, at least. I smite beasts so they don't smite the innocent. A needed task to be sure, she sighs, pulling a flask from her cloak and drinking from it. I know about how life ties us up to a path. You just have to learn how to take that path and take pride in it. Make it your own. If the path is the only one you can walk, I don't see how taking pride alters anything. Though, if you wish to see it uh, that way, there's no problem in that. Taking pride alters the mind, she says with her trademark smile. I was born and changed, forced into the butcher's circus. This mask hides more than just my pretty eyes. But I took um, my lot in life, my scars, the butcher's brand, and made, um, made found my way to, and found my way to mold into something else. I forced people to look on me, not as an object, but as a warrior, and eventually a champion. And on to part two. Hmm. Say, looking at it from a crow's eye view, us two are quite similar. I was born bound to the ground, having to struggle to achieve my greater purpose, my only purpose. But while you may uh, made people look at you for what you are, I couldn't do that. I couldn't find any gaze not filling with fear and rage going my direction. Not until they hesitate noticeably. You, I guess, say what made you um, want to talk. To what made you want to talk to me, anyways? Well, initially, I wanted you to join the Butcher Circus. Your attire and general aura would be great potential for uh, great for a potential champion. Those who stand in the ring under my leadership are no longer slaves. They are those who seek glory, who want to be praised for their um, proclivities of for violence, or just want a new life. The ring is escapism from this cursed, cursed world. All I need is good characters to pull from the tragedies. It seems like a good place for you. Unfortunately, I'll have to deny your offer, or at the very least postpone it. Unlike some Hamlet dwellers, I don't take my goal lightly. I won't rest until it's complete. Fortunately, a friend of mine, let's um, let's call her, has been doing some research. She thinks she can slay the reason uh, the reason people see me like this to it, see me like this to it, to the very core. With it, I, I would come across great peace. Peace great enough for me to consider my purpose complete. But until then, I won't be joining the circus. Now, if you have anything else to ask or tell me, do it so we can return. We might be part of the next crew out. Amazing stuff. And like I said, we do have a few more diary entries to go. But I want to... Um... Actually, there's a part three as well. Let me just do part three real quickly. It is good that you... Um... It is good that you... What? Wait a minute. It is good that someone's helping you find peace. Maybe don't have that... Um, to give you a little peace now. I am proud to fight by your side. It is a uh, rare gift to have someone fighting, not for themselves, but for the protection of all. Despite how they view you, I'm sure other members of our group and dungeon divers would agree with me. I say thank you, Guardian, for your service. She reaches her hand out and shakes his. They shake hands. Now follow me. I know a shortcut nearby. Now to check the stars, because they don't copy. Okay, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Oh wait, that now to check for the stars because they don't copy. That 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 was just actually part of the comment after the diary. Anyways, I apologize if I butcher diary entries. My my goddamn dyslexia makes me terrible at reading. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was something else. Um I, I think we're in a a really, really, really rough spot right now. We had no money, um, and yeah, we, we just lost a healer, um, and we got a lot of stress on our side. It's going to be rough. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.